people think about like the parlor tricks. I don't want to say parlor tricks because they really work, but clucking like a chicken or like the different aspects of hypnosis. They're not thinking about what it's really utilized for. And it is really basically just to change your perspective on things. Like NLP was the first thing I decided to study because I was, I was less interested in it. <laughs> And I knew it was going to take longer to study, which is kind of backward thinking, I think. Um, but I was like, yeah. But then I was like, oh, that's actually really, I just realized they're very coincide with one another. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is great. And I actually use a lot of the tools in hypnosis because they're kind of like the same. They're opposite sides of the same coins. Yeah, it basically uh, walks somebody, if there's like something that's kind of traumatic to them, it puts them in a different perspective. So they're outside of it. So they're very dissociated. So they're typically see themselves in a movie theater and they would be sitting in a movie theater seat, but then they'd kind of disassociate and be in the projector room. So they're not seeing the person that's in the seat is directly seeing the movie theater, movie screen of the incident that's happening. But if you see it all dissociated, so it's like black and white, and then you're not kind of in it, but you might it's very involved, but you basically are very, very disassociated. So you kind of things, see things from a different perspective completely. And, um, and when you see yeah. things from a different perspective, you, yeah. you remember it differently. Yeah. And so um, I think it's important to note that every time, every time you recall something, you restore it in your memory in a different way. And so, you know, yeah. this, this is one of many techniques of NLP that get people the results fast, you know, and yes, people say, oh, sometimes they, they come in and they expect miracles, but miracles actually can happen too in one yeah. session, like the session, the little, you know, not yeah. even a full session with your mom doing one technique with yeah. her and suddenly she's swimming again and yeah. she's sending you videos of in the pool, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's a pretty big shift for, you know, yeah. maybe a 15 to 30 minute little exercise. Yeah. My dad initially <laughs> was like, what are you studying? I don't understand what's going on. And then he saw that and he's like, oh, okay, you, you continue to do what you're doing. <laughs> and it was like, all right, that's fine. <laughs> okay, and then so from NLP, then you got into hypnosis. Yeah, I got into hypnosis, which is just, uh, it's funny because whenever someone's like, what is hypnosis? There's like, you can talk to a thousand hypnotists and you'll get like a thousand different answers. But, so what is your definition? Oh, God. Um, I say numerous different definitions depending on okay, who I'm so, talking to. <laughs> So what Lonnie's really saying is that if you ask her on any given day, you're going to get change. a different response. Yeah. It's not that it is. Yeah. I will say, I'll give it a couple of responses. So it's, I will say like it's seeding ideas to alter perception or create different perspectives in order to open someone up to new possibilities mm -hmm. to create a new reality for themselves. Or I'll say, uh, <laughs> and what I tend to say is like when I meet someone is because there's so many misconceptions about hypnosis and it gets like really flooded with like movies and if you ever see the movie Get Out, it looks terrifying. Um, so all I say, typically you <laughs> say is it's awareness focused inwards and we do that all day. So, but it's like a heightened uh, hyper focus or narrowed focus, like as if you were like watching a movie and you get immersed in the movie or get absorbed and you don't kind of notice the surroundings in that theater that's a state of trance or natural induced state you know mm -hmm. of trance or you know if you're immersed in a book and you're not aware you know you're getting involved in the story and you're not aware of the room that you're in that's a state of hypnosis so these all these different natural states of 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 trance mm -hmm. and in and when you do hypnosis it's just basically taking that trance and, and formally utilizing that. I like that. Yeah. And what do you think it's good for? Hypnosis? What yeah. isn't it good for? I think that's the bigger question. Ah, there we go. There we go. Uh, I mean, I'm a firm believer too. Like, it's, it's hard for me because I, I always promote everything down, downstairs and yeah. all of our different work that we do because I think that there's a place for everything and everything in its place. But, you know, yeah. when, you, when you had the mind of like, oh, well, we can reprogram your mind and da 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 like, come in yeah. and let me just do this. And I see that thread we can pull or that seed we can plant and, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's so, it's fascinating. I mean, I mean, if you just think, God, I mean, anything from fears to phobias to anxiety, like physical pain, like helping manage people's physical pain. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, even you hear about it with like hypnobirthing, you know. Yeah, hypnobirthing. I don't specialize in that, but you know, there's either. people that do, and yeah. you know, people are having full on, they're going through labor without any anesthesia, and they're not experiencing any pain either because yeah. they've conditioned themselves through hypnosis. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hypnoanesthesia too. Yes, that's intense. <laughs> it's intense, but yeah, there's like so many different things, like. And there's and it's, it, what I find interesting is like you can help somebody with some topic or subject that, that they want to change, and then you notice afterwards that how that helped them not only with that but like other things. It's like, it has this like domino effect mm -hmm. that like other things get addressed or gets opened to like oh maybe there's something else I need to address. People think about like the parlor tricks. I don't want to say parlor tricks because they really work, but they think about like. Uh, like you know like cooking like a chicken or like the different aspects of hypnosis they're not thinking about what it's really utilized for and it is really basically just to change your perspective on things like to gain give you some new insights uh new perspectives um, so you can have those aha moments and it, it's you creating that it's not yeah. like we're not really doing anything you know like we might be guiding somebody but like it's it's the hypnotee that's like exploring their own inner world so yeah. You know, it's, that's what the, the fascinating thing. It's like, it's not like this, you know, this kind of state of magic. It's like you're creating your own magic within your own mind yeah. and you're, and you're solving your own issues. You're, you're providing your own solutions. And that's what is cool. I like to deal with like anxious issues cause I, I can relate to that. So like any sort of anxieties, um, mm -hmm. um, also I mean, stress management, um, basically I help people with a lot like, uh, of having, um, ch maybe childhood issues that they've can't kind of, that they brought into their light, their, their adult life. Okay. So they brought that in and it's like kind of, you know how we like have an experience and we kind of get socialized into having that experience over and over, constant triggers that mm -hmm. keep going on in our lives and we keep getting re-triggered. So dealing with that, so you don't have to deal with that anymore. So kind of clearing of that, like past issues, past wounds. Mm -hmm. um, God, so yeah, I mean, I've dealt with people who had chronic pain, fibromyalgia, um, just helping people manage their physical pain in some ways and shapes or forms. But I think I like just functioning people who get stuck in life, you know, like having issues with, you know, feeling really torn and, and not getting clarity and like what to do and, and that yeah. state of just like, oh, I, because sometimes they just need to relax and like clear their head and like have insight just come to them in some ways that they're not, they're, they're not allowing to happen. Sometimes our shifting our awareness can create really such a big change and we don't, and we don't realize how easily it can be to, to change perspective sometimes because yeah. we're just so locked in, oh, yeah. you know, like how we're, in that state of mind. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.